dick, a fork, and me. That is some gorgeous <laughs> 70s hair. Feels so soft. It's it, and not only is that a feeling, it's a reality. Welcome back to my channel. This is Anita, and today we are going to show you how to do 70s hair. But before we do that, we're going to do what? Like and subscribe. Yes, like and subscribe. We're so excited that you're here. And today we're really just going to do gorgeous 70s hair. So our inspiration is going to be this and kind of this. <laughs> 70s hair is coming back. It's coming back with a vengeance. Um, it's big, it's bodacious, it has texture, it has volume, it has body. I don't know if you know the difference, but body is this way and volume is this way. So volume is vertical, body is width, and 70s has both. We wash her hair with Nurture Shampoo and Conditioner today from JBN Hair. Now to protect this gorgeous hair from the heat styling that we're gonna give it to achieve our Farrah Fawcett realness, uh, I'm gonna apply a little bit of Instant Recovery Serum that also has niacinamide and charged lemon protein, which helps to protect your hair from heat. So I'm gonna put a little bit more of this through the mid lengths and ends of this hair to protect it. Typically your hair that needs heat protection is like the oldest hair on your head, which is you know, from the middle of your hair down. And then I'm just gonna take the leftovers and kind of come in underneath the hair. Here we go. Oh, feels good. Yes, queen. <laughs> so now we're gonna blow dry your hair. And this is a really good tip for when you want volume on hair that is not got a lot of layers in it, um, but you still want that lift, flip your hair over. Just, oh, oh, oh. oh all the way, oh. commit. When you have a straighter texture like this, you wanna get the moisture out of the hair um, before you really start to set it. Certainly don't like curl your hair with a curling iron until it's like 100% dry. Come on up, flip it up with a vengeance. That was pretty. Uh... I love how instant recovery serum feels in your hair. I know, it feels like it's giving me life. It this is... is life, yeah. yeah. This hair I would say is probably like, it's like 65% dry right now and we really wanna get it more to like the 80, 90% before we start to round brush or set it on rollers. If you notice, I'm paying special attention to her roots because it'll oftentimes feel like it's dry when it's actually kind of damp still. I feel like a center part is very quintessentially 70s. So we're gonna rock and embrace a center part today. Are you like really excited to get your 70s vibes on? So freaking excited. What kind of like hair like inspires like 70s? Like when you think 70s, what do you think? I think Farrah Fawcett, just the... Just... Uh, yes. Uh, and like big... Big, yes. Volume. Obviously. Texture. Beautiful. Oh, that was good. I almost hit me in the face. Ah. I'm gonna do like a healthy helping of mousse. We like mousse around the root. It gives us volume and body. I'm kind of angling the mousse towards the crown and the hairline. Then I'm gonna take a little wet brush and I'm just gonna make sure that it's distributed all throughout the hair. Emily, come here. This is Emily. She was my assistant for like 15,000 years. I literally needed a haircut today because I haven't had a haircut since June. And there's usually only two people in the whole world who I trust to cut my hair, but then I realized that I totally trusted Emily. So now she's the third person I've ever trusted to cut my hair in the last 10 years. And look, you can't totally see because of my Ariana Grande style, but look at how good my ends look. Give it up for Emily. Yay! Go, Emily! If you need your hair cut or colored in the greater Los Angeles area, go to Emily, but don't get her so busy that she can't work with me anymore, oh my God. <laughs> so one important thing at home is you'll notice, I'm just gonna turn you around so that people can see. I have clipped her hair. I have the back separated from the front because we don't need to deal with all this hair right now. We just need to kind of clip that away. So sectioning is really important to when you're styling your own hair at home. The sectioning is kind of like the roadmap that you're gonna use. So the cleaner you're sectioning, the easier time you're gonna have styling the hair. This is so therapeutic. Yes, I was just thinking that you were gonna like fall asleep. Roller time, love Velcro rollers, obsessed. We just bring it on. Now you'll notice too that it's it actually really is easier to start with the hair that's kind of around your face because it gets it out of the way. So now I'm just gonna repeat this process on the sides of her hair. You have the prettiest 
fucking lashes. You are like you. so talented at your job. Can you stand it? If anybody in Austin needs your lashes done, come to Nita Lash. Yes, you know? oh, I love that name. <laughs> so when you're blow drying your hair, you should make sure that like your roots are really dry. Yes, <laughs> yes. Because if your roots are kind of damp still, then your set won't hold. I it's, never have done this. Really? So, yes. It's just a different way to set the hair. So instead of like doing a hot roller that uh -huh. sets your hair, like you're using the blow dryer to kind of set it. Yeah. And do those damage your hair, the hot rollers? Um, If you have heat protect it in your hair, it shouldn't. Okay. Your hair Jeez. feels pretty healthy. It is healthy. Do you sleep with your hair down? Yeah. Sometimes it like breaks your ends. Like sleeping, like you need to like secure your ends away from your body heat. I like to do like a really, really loose, loose, like silk scrunchy top knot. Okay. But like the loosest, like no tension on your hairline top knot of all time. <laughs> it was literally on Craigslist. I posted like a assistant thing on Craigslist with my old business partner. Yeah, and I responded. Here we are. The year was 2013. I wore black and white. Yes, you had a really short bob. <laughs> then we bleach and toned your hair. Well, I didn't. I always said it was a bad idea. You bleach and toned your hair with my old salon business partner. And I shaved it off. Well, I had to because she and her assistant broke your hair at the room. <laughs> oh, no. Because they did your bleach and tone like between like 12 other clients. Uh -huh. But my hair, hair was jet black. It was jet black. Yeah. And it got to a lovely coral orange yeah. as it Before turned into crack. sawdust <laughs> <laughs> in the shampoo bowl. <laughs> And so you assisted for us, then you assisted yes. at another salon. Yes. And you definitely have grown into such an incredible hairdresser. I'm so Thank proud of you. you. So as I heated that up, now I'm switching it to cold shot and I'm just like really keeping cold air on it. And what that does, it just helps to set your hair. So it'll help to keep the curl a little better. So if you were doing this on yourself at home, you could do the thing from our video of how to give yourself a blow dry. Basically just sectioning is very important. As you can see, as this takes shape, like each hair section needs its place. So if you did want to do that like horseshoe pre-sectioning thing and then blow dry from the bottom up, it really is like how you feel best doing your own hair. My hair is going to have a great hair day. You really are. It's going to be amazing. Over directing for volume. Yes. So for like straight hair, whenever you're blow drying, do you want to try to like blow dry up. If it's gonna live down here, yeah. over direct it this way. I went to this animal shelter last night and they had these two flame point Siamese siblings and their names were Basil and Dill. And, then, and so then I was like, well, what if we just get the one? And then this is the part that ripped my heart out. So there was this one flame point si now. Yeah. It's already damp, see, that's what you, see how I felt this? And then I was like, don't proceed, don't pass go. Go straight to jail, it's still damp, you can't do that. Yeah. There was this one flame point Siamese who was super friendly. Probably one of the most affectionate cats I've ever seen in my life. That red one, they said that he doesn't like people, but then my husband got him to come down from his ledge, but it took a lot of coaxing. And then after we left, because I was like, Mark, let's just get the orange one. He said, oh, this like is really hurtful. He was like, if the orange one would have had the personality of the flame point, we could, I could, I would have been convinced, but that it was just like too shy. And I was like, ah. That ah. hurt. I was like, he just was probably having a nap. And you know what's true? I've been wanting eight cats for a long time. Just eight? Is that is eight like the perfect number for you? Actually, just numbers more than what I currently have keep being the number that would be perfect. Okay, yeah, I mean. So catch this. Each per square inch of her scalp, there's like a lot of individual hairs, and the hairs are kind of heavy. So you notice I did smaller red uh, rollers on the front, slightly bigger on this middle section. Um, and that's because if you do smaller sections, smaller rollers, it's going to give you more wave, more curl, more texture. Bigger rollers are going to give you like less of a set. So as I work my way back, I'm going to do bigger rollers because I'm really looking for that bang for my buck around her face. And then the back can kind of like chill out a little bit. So how would I do this? Because my hair is so stubbornly straight. On day one, I would just Flip your hair upside down, blow dry it 100% dry and straight, and just let it be dry and straight. Then on day two, I would probably wake up and do hot rollers. I'm gonna take this off. Ah! Hot. Almost as hot as us, Anita. Almost, but not quite. Not quite. Sorry, you can't whip your hair around like that right now with all these rollers <laughs> in your hair. So, when Emily and I would watch you get coffee, 
In no, West LA, no, there was a no, <laughs> It's so funny. No. I would always love to read the misconnections. I loved it's the so misconnections. Good. It's so good. I discovered the misconnections when I had just also discovered Equinox, and there was always like so many hot misconnections about Equinox. <laughs> And it was like straight, gay, like everyone. It was like, I saw you on the treadmill for 45 minutes yesterday and I was too scared to say anything. So because your hair is very strong, very healthy, I am going to take a curling iron to it to kind of like help it set. The curling iron is going to get a little bit hotter than like the blow dryer does. So if I set it on the curling iron and then put it on a Velcro roller, I think it's going to hold a little better. I'm glad that you say my hair is healthy because I have confession. Tell me. <laughs> I use Dove. Really, truly what happens is that a lot of those type of brands, they have a lot of mineral oil in it. And that is, it's very similar to like a beeswax. The reason why it makes your hair look so shiny and healthy is because it's just like coated the living bejesus out of it. Yeah. And it's actually possible to have like really shiny hair like without these things, like you don't need to have that. I leased a Tesla last year and when I did it, they were like, take an hour and like get to know the car in the parking lot. And I was like, okay, whatever. So I immediately left. And then the first intersection I got to, I was trying to figure out how to adjust the rear view mirror. And then I opened every single car door. Like I press this button and like in the back door is like open like a bat. They were like honking and honking and honking. <laughs> like the wingspan's like really wide. And they were just like open. <laughs> And you're like, I'm Jonathan Van Ness. Would you fucking wait? No, I was, that's what I was scared of. I was like, I'd be like, that dumb It was a nightmare. So as I take each roller out, I'm just going to give it a little bit of spritz with this hairspray. I'm just going to gently pick it up. You just want to get underneath the hair. That's why I do go like this. Can we talk about how nice this luscious body is back here? Oh, this is everything. This is my Oh, hair. you know that I'm gonna need that hair powder, Patty. You are so right. Give it to me. This is this great um, hair building powder. It gives you a ton of volume. Those types of powders are really easy to do at home. So you'll see I'm just gonna flip her hair forward. And I'm gonna start to play with this. Rub in that powder. Yes, 70s. Mm. Well, look how beautiful this is, especially because my hair started out as flat as a board and now it's look light as a it. feather. <laughs> look at this 70s volume. Stick a fork in me. That is some gorgeous 70s hair. Today, we wash with Nurture Shampoo and Conditioner. Then we applied Instant Recovery Serum to prevent heat damage from mid links to ends. Went back with a little bit on the root. Then we went through with um, Authentic Beauty Concepts Mousse set the hair on Velcro rollers and set it on a curling iron. And then we use this gorgeous powder by Schwarzkopf to give us this bodacious body up on the root. We worked it in and then we just kind of backcombed her roots to give her this gorgeous, big, voluminous throwback 70s hair. She's giving texture. This is gonna last her for days. Do you love your hair, Anita? I love it so much. And where can people get the best lashes of their life from? Nita Lash. And you can get the best hair products of your life with JV and hair. Oh my God. Uh, so like and subscribe. Yeah, she knows everything. And then just show them this hair all around. Can you just like shake your hair all around for them? Can we get some slow motion shakage? Yeah.